This is a brief video on the functions of the cranial nerves. Start with cranial nerve one, which is called the olfactory nerve. This is a sensory nerve. We have some sensory nerves and some motor nerves. The main function of the olfactory nerve is, as the name implies, olfaction, which is your sense of smell from the nasal cavity. Second cranial nerve is the optic nerve. This is also a sensory nerve, and this is for the sense of vision, as, uh, as the name also might imply. The optic nerve senses vision through the retina. Now, there's another column here that's uh, a mnemonic that'll help you remember the sensory or motor direction of these cranial nerves, and we'll get to that at the end. Third cranial nerve is the oculomotor nerve. This is a motor nerve, as the name implies, and it innervates many of the eye muscles, all of the eye muscles except for two that we're going to talk about. The oculomotor nerve also does pupillary constriction. That's another motor function, and that's actually a parasympathetic function, constricting of the pupils. That's the oculomotor nerve. Cranial nerve four is the trochlear nerve, also a motor nerve. This one also does eye muscles, specifically the superior oblique muscle. And one way to remember this is superior oblique, SO, corresponds to cranial nerve four, so SO4, kind of like the sulfate ion. Superior oblique muscle is innervated by cranial nerve four, SO4, another motor cranial nerve, the trochlear nerve. Cranial nerve five is the trigeminal nerve. This is both sensory and motor, and uh, it innervates, the motor, the motor function is the innervation of the muscles of mastication. There are four muscles of mastication uh, innervated by the trigeminal nerve, and also it, it, it receives sensory from the face. There's, uh, there's divisions of the trigeminal nerve that kind of grab sensations from the face. And number six is the abducens. This is a third cranial nerve that innervates an eye muscle. So it's another motor nerve, cranial nerve six. This one specifically innervates the lateral rectus, LR6. Uh, that helps you remember that. So LR6, SO4, help you remember the two cranial nerves that innervate eye muscles. Now, cranial nerves three, four, and six are the three that innervate all the eye muscles. Cranial nerve three does the majority of those muscles. We'll show up next slide, kind of breaking down those muscles and, and talking about eye motion. Trochlear nerve does superior oblique, SO4, and abductions does the lateral rectus, LR6. Cranial nerve seven is a facial nerve. Uh, this is both sensory and motor. It innervates the muscles of facial expression. It also innervates lacrimal glands and salivary glands. It produces some of your sense of taste. The front two thirds of your tongue is innervated by the facial nerve for taste. Next is the vestibulocochlear nerve. This is cranial nerve eight. This is a sensory nerve. And as the name implies, it does hearing and rotation. Cochlear is hearing. Vestibulo is rotation and gravity. That's the, uh, that's the vestibular system and your sense of hearing done by cranial nerve eight. Cranial nerve nine is the glossopharyngeal nerve. It does both motor and sensory, and it innervates the muscles required for swallowing. It, uh, it does part of your sense of taste. This is the back two thirds of your tongue innervated by cranial nerve nine, innervates the parotid gland, and it's also sensory for the gag reflex. Gag reflex has sensory from cranial nerve nine, and as we'll see in a second, it has motor function from cranial nerve 10. Cranial nerve nine also does chemo and baroreceptors for the carotid body. That's uh, in the arteries leading up to the head. There's a little carotid body that, that can detect pressures and adjust the, the tone of the vasculature based on those blood pressures. Next is cranial nerve 10, which is the vagus nerve. This one also does both sensory and motor. Innervated, uh, this cranial nerve 10 innervates most of the muscles in your, uh, in your larynx and pharynx, which uh, help with swallowing, phonation, and as I mentioned earlier, the motor for the gag reflex. Vagus nerve also provides many of the parasympathetic fi fibers to your gut, to your thoracic cavity, to your abdominal viscera to uh, the front two thirds of your gut is provided by the vagus nerve. And uh, this one also does taste, taste from the epiglottis, not somewhere you usually think of tasting with. And vagus nerve also does chemo and baroreceptors, this time for the aortic arch.
Next is the accessory gland. This one's a, it's kind of not really a cranial nerve, but it is a cranial nerve because uh, it's been classified that way. Accessory gland, cranial nerve 11 is a motor nerve. It innervates muscles to move the head, shoulders, and neck, specifically the SCM muscle and the trapezius muscle. And lastly is cranial nerve 12, the hypoglossal nerve. This is another motor nerve, specifically innervates the muscles of the tongue, which of course is essential for speech. So there's a couple things that can help you remember this table of cranial nerves, this mnemonic um, that's in the fourth column here. It uses the first letter of the sensory motor or both words in the previous column. And um, some say money matters, but my brother says big brains matter more. So that's 12 words, first letter of each of those words tell you if that corresponding cranial nerve is sensory, motor, or both. It's also kind of obvious if you think about the cranial nerves that are sensory, the optic nerve is sensory, obviously, because that's your sense of sight. Olfactory nerve is sensory, obviously. That's your sense of smell. Vestibulocochlear nerve, you have two senses there. You have rotation, gravity, and hearing. And uh, so that's kind of obvious that, that those are sensory. It's, it's interesting to note that the nerves that are present in the branchial arches, that is nerves five, seven, nine, and 10, are the nerves that are both motor and sensory. And I kind of like to think that those nerves are more primitive than the others, and thus they have both functions, motor and sensory. So that's cranial nerves nine, seven, 10, and five, and those are all the cranial nerves that have both sensory and motor functions. And uh, as we mentioned a few times now, the, the eye muscles are controlled by three cranial nerves, three, four, and six. This next slide helps us break, us, break that down a little bit. These are the muscles of the eye and uh, the corresponding direction that they move both of your eyes. So you can see both eyes are shown in this picture. And the uh, the words or these these acronyms here, S-R-L-R-I-R-I-O-S-O, -I they all correspond to muscles that move the eye in those directions. That little subscript that's next to each of those muscles, that's the cranial nerve that corresponds to that muscle. So cranial nerve three, as we mentioned earlier, innervates a lot of the muscles. It innervates the superior rectus, the inferior rectus, the medial rectus, and the inferior oblique. Cranial nerve four, the trochlear nerve, innervates the superior oblique, and cranial nerve six innervates the lateral rectus. So all you gotta do to remember the functions of these muscles, or the functions of the cranial nerves that innervate the muscles of the eye are SO4 and LR6. And you know that the rest of those muscles are innervated by cranial nerve three. That's it for this video on functions of cranial nerves. I hope it was helpful.